Manchester United 3, Nottingham Forest 0. Yeah, guys, welcome to the United Way. Uh, my name is Rav Dukan, ordinary fan like you. Fantastic watch along, by the way. And uh, guys, uh, thanks for all of you who have subscribed and some of you who came into the watch along. I will encourage most of you to be live uh, on the channel when Manchester United is play playing because we do answer a lot of questions. We talk about fan fan dialogue, which is more interesting. But yeah, today it's... Uh, uh, in this video, we're talking about, the, I mean, our reaction for these three goals to zero, which United uh, did have last night. And uh, I've just watched some highlights today and I just want to tell you guys what I think. But before we start, smash a like on the video if Casemiro was your man of the match. And I want to tell you guys why I think Casemiro is was the man of the match and is so important for us. I mean, if you're a viewer of this channel, you will know I have said the most important thing that happened to Manchester United this season it's not i mean 2022 is us getting <clears throat> getting a manager eric ten Hag, and i'm afraid but i need to say the most the second most important thing that happened manchester united is for us getting a cdm i even said that even doing back in rack mix time that the only chance manchester united has to be uh have a good a good season good season means qualifying for champions league and being relative being uh kind of uh, relevant again is having a proper cdm and that is what casimiro has brought on the table for manchester united i think he was flawless yesterday all his passes were good just look at the goal he gave he the pass he gave to um fred for the third goal you know just see how he is just a team player, a leader on the pitch. He doesn't talk too much. The actions, maybe because this is a position in which I played in football and I'm, I'm a fan of creative players. And that's why I do appreciate this. But what I want to tell you guys here that Casemiro is my man of the match. And if he's your man of the match, I want to see those thumbs up here on the video immediately. I mean, not immediately, you know. I mean, I'll be happy to see that. But yes, let's do our player ratings and also give some dialogues our, our opinions about this game. I'll try to make it short as usual. Yeah, um, um, the poll, I think David De Gea had very little game, uh, little situations to, I mean, to pop up his talent, to show off his talent. So I give David De Gea a 6.5. And um, don't, don't forget, we're rating players over 10, which fix 6 for us is kind of an average, right? So 6.5, David De Gea. Uh, at the central back, Veran. I think Veran had also a very good game. Someone who just came in. And and, and by the way, before the game, uh, there was... Uh, well, I, I read an article which uh, uh, said Veran told the manager that I can play, that he's fit to play the game. He should play him if he wants, if he needs him. And the manager with the trust in the player, the Veran started his game and uh, I think he was uh, just as Casemiro. He was as good as Casemiro in the game. I give Veran a, a 7. I think Veran was very good. I think a 7.5 for Veran will be fine. 7.5. And uh, playing alongside Luke Shaw and Harry Maguire in the bench. Some were saying because Harry Maguire is not feeling well, that's why he wants to be in the bench. I don't think so. I don't think if a player, Harry Maguire, he, 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 I don't think so. I think the reason why Harry Maguire is not playing is because he doesn't fit the system and uh, which Ten Hag wants him to play, which is a high line. Even when he came in, you saw some errors that he did. Not, not him individually. Harry Maguire, the, play, the, the fans of Manchester United have nothing with Harry Maguire. Nothing negative, I mean. But what I think is that they have come to this conclusion. And we, it's, un, I mean, it's universally accepted that Harry Maguire has problem with his speed, his vision. He, is, he doesn't sprint very well. He's, he is afraid of counter-attack in football. So that makes him become a, li a liability if we have to play a proper game, especially against good system. I'm saying because of the way Ten Hag wants to play. High line. We had this question a lot on our watch along. So guys, if you want to get more about tactical knowledge about football, Manchester United answering questions, make sure you join the channel and uh, yeah, meet us on our watch along. So uh, I give a uh, look show also. I mean, look sure, I'll give look sure, considering this is, I think, the second time that he has played with centre back with, uh, and the first time he has played with Veran, the second time he has played in centre back. Uh, I'll give look sure, look sure had a good game for a player which is not really his position. I give him a seven. Uh, Tare Malaysia, I think he was good, especially in the first half when he was going up and down. Uh, I think um, not playing games from the World Cup. Um, he returns to Manchester United where he has opportunity to express himself. He was very good. I mean, very unselfish player. Malaysia, also very physical. I think Malaysia, I give him a 6.5 coming to Harry Wambasaka. Well, considering that Harry Wambasaka hasn't played for long and um, and he's on the market for sale, there are some clubs who are interested in buying Harry uh, Wambasaka. 
Um, I, I mean, considering his situation, which I'll give her a one by Saka 6.5, I think he had a good game, a 6.5, not even a 7, a 6.5. Why? Because I think Harry Wambasaka, he did what he could do. You know, he's limited. You cannot change a player. I mean, if he, there are certain attributes. He's very good defensive wide, but creativity, he, he, he lacks it. We need to accept this. So it's, it's a 6.5. I don't want to pull it a lot. And uh, my man of the match, which I said I would give him, I mean, I mean, I think this is the highest I will give today. Uh, Casemiro. Casemiro, I think Casemiro is an 8. I would not give Casemiro a 9 because we are not playing, I mean, Yes, it's a Premier League game, but we are not playing a city. We are not playing a, a, a league, a title. Uh, someone, I don't want to go and say a um, uh, Casemiro is a nine. Me giving as Casemiro a nine or a ten, I think is disrespectful for his talent. I think this is not an opponent which you have to overshadow the, uh, the performance that we have to like rate Casemiro as his, his game. But obviously, he was so important in our game. He has changed a lot. I'll say United haven't had a holding midfielder since Carrick left the club. So an 8 for Casemiro. I think uh, Ericsson was quite average. A part of the combination he had with Marcus Rashford, which was, um, you can see it's a training goal. That's not by mistake, guys. Rashford would have kicked that ball and hit somebody. It's not by mistake. It's a training goal. Back in the days I was playing, we trained this. Actually. What the, the way it is done is when you play against a psychological thing, when you play against a team who is defensive, you, and you have a corner which nobody demands for the corner, demands for the corner, it distracts the defenders and a smart player can come just first at the pole and you give him, you just cut the ball from the left and he shoots it. So luckily he went to the pole and that was a goal. So that's training, it's not a mistake goal. Ericsson, um, uh, six, mm, six, uh, I mean six, very average game from Ericsson to be honest, nothing really um, special from Ericsson today. Yeah, so Marcus Rashford, I think the first half, if the game, if you had a 45 minute game, Rashford will be the man of the match. He was very brilliant. First 30 minutes combination, not only his goal, but the, but the pass he gave uh, for a goal for, Mar for, for Marshall. I think Rashford boy, had a very good game. Rashford is the man of the season so far. And uh, Ten Hag said before the game even that Rashford has to score 20 league goals and that's one more in the back for Marcus Rashford. Let's hope he gets uh, fit. He is uh, fit. He doesn't get injuries and can perform very well so marcus rashford i give marcus rashford um, a seven a seven a seven i mean because in the second half he wasn't really in the game as before bruno fernandez for me is 6.5 yeah he wasn't that super relevant but uh, as a team player captain he he uh he did what he could do his distribution he's a little bit all over the place in terms of his energy it gives him that flexibility for him to move around the pitch i think Lunos fernandez is growing in maturity stop dribbling try to be more collective that is what is demanded from um uh, ten Hag. we want to see a team not a, an individual the individual will be sorted out when a team is playing and talking about collectiveness, um, Anthony Da Silva also was a player which uh, underperformed, in my view. I gave him um, a, 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 a five. I think he underperformed uh, Da Silva. I think with Da Silva, that is a player that was bought by Temka Ten Hag. He needs some advice in the way he plays because uh, he's a very talented player. There's nothing to, 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 to argue about that. But he needs to just calm down his game and be more collective. I mean, those moments of brilliance would, have, would arrive with time but he needs to be very just calm play play give the pass when it's necessary the movements is so important so um yeah i think um the silva has not been uh has not been good he will come out well he'll come out well so i give him a five he's a five that's a very bad game sorry from him yeah i just got up and watched the game again that's why i'm trying to analyze the game yeah, so uh, coming out with uh, Marshall. Marshall, give Marshall, if he scored the goal, uh, Marshall, give Marshall a 6.5. 6.5, it might be harsh. It could be 7, 7, 6.5. Any of them is okay. Over 10. As a 9, playing for Manchester United with a lack of creativity. Yes, he was giving a goal back to Mar Marcus Rashford. You have to appreciate such a player that... Um, yeah, try to get a goal out of nothing. But uh, yeah, I think he has been out of play for a while. So uh, he, uh, overall performance for me, I think uh, he deserves to get something like uh, a 6.5 or, or maximum 7. Any of them, it's uh, okay with me. 
Yeah, so uh, let's talk about players who came in. Fred, Fred scored a goal, 6.5. I think Fred, yeah, came up in uh, in the second half, got his goal. That was fine. But Fred, again, he's a limited player uh, in terms of, um, he's a utility player. That's what I can say. Uh, yeah, and uh, Harry Maguire, Harry Maguire, I would say Harry Maguire had <clears throat> an average game. Harry Maguire had a six, a very average game. I won't go. I mean, he, he didn't do, he do he did a lot of things wrong. And um, I think he, he, he Ari Magui needs to get a team. I mean, Ari Magui needs to get a team. This is his last year of Manchester United, honestly, with these players that we have. Uh, Ale- uh, Alexander Ganacho came in and uh, m- moments of brilliance. Uh, uh, you, when you look at Ganacho and you look at someone like Elanga, you see some maturity, provocation from Ganacho, his speed, his technique. He is, um, this is the future of Manchester United. I give Ganacho a six. He had a very impressive game. Maybe the short time he came, I think he spent maybe less than 15 minutes on the pitch, but that was great from him. Talking about, um, uh, Elanga, who came just four minutes uh, into the, uh, the game, and uh, for Rashford, Elanga. To be honest, Elanga has to go on a loan. Elanga needs to sort out where he plays because whether he plays in, the, I think he's a utility player. He plays on the left, right, or he plays as an attacker. I, I think Elanga had a very silent game. I give him five point five. Donny Van de Beek. I think Van de Beek had a good game, six point five. You might ask me why because when when the thing would what, the reason why you like City watching City is the movement of the ball and Donny van de Beek is that kind of player he's among the players which I think United should sell at the end of the season if he cannot not in January because he's an utility player at the end of the season if Manchester United cannot really um I mean if he's not good this season he has to be sold he has to be sold in, in December if he doesn't have enough games yeah but uh he's the kind of player that there's a player one of those players that Ten Hag really knows so it's it's a very complicated one and talking about Ten Hag uh, I give Ten Hag a seven I think Ten Hag was bold enough but the way he utilizes his players he, he brought in four players trying to give players rest for the last 15 20 minutes you know, yeah sometimes he I mean he, he gives players uh 30 minutes rest in the game i mean ten Hag is getting his, his his legs into manchester united so uh i give ten Hag a seven so guys now tell me what you guys think what are your ratings of your players smash a like on the video if you agree with me fine if you don't agree with me smash a like on the face on the video as well and i want to ask you guys also to make sure you subscribe and meet us on our watch along the watch along the game against wolves unfortunately it's on the 31st i do have a lot of uh i wouldn't be around so uh, i i'm i'm a bit surprised but i'm uh, going to give my match reaction the first of january obviously at this time i watch the game i might not do a watch along here but you know the season is long in january we'll be having games after every three days so make sure you subscribe as i said share this video Thanks for all of you who have done so already. And uh, yeah, is it too early to say uh, Happy New Year? I think no. Great short um, analysis here from uh, the United Way. I was glad. I'm glad you guys have watched uh, until this moment. So yeah, what should I say? Talk to you soon. Glory, glory, Manchester United, and hope United can get uh, a good season. A good season for us is Champions League. I don't care about those clubs, honestly. Those clubs. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye bye.